I am Megha Bahikar and I am an abacus trainer and in this video I am going to discuss what is abacus and why kids should learn abacus. Now abacus is very popularly known for its astonishing speed and accuracy in mental calculations. Now the question arises when we have uh, calculators in, available in our smartphone at our fingertips when the electronic calculators are so easily accessible then what is the need of learning abacus? So before we talk more about why kids should learn abacus, let us first understand what is abacus. So this is the abacus tool. This is the Japanese abacus and this is also known as Sorabin in Japanese. Now this is actually calculator and it consists of lower bit and upper bits. Okay, and the values for lower bit is in ones and upper bit it is in five. So when kids are performing arithmetic calculations in mind, they are actually visualizing the mental image of this physical tool. And they are operating those bits in their mental image using their fingers. Now in this process, uh, a very beautiful connection is established between mind and body. And it is believed that this process also helps them to improve their concentration, calculation and memorization skills. We are all aware that brain consists of two parts, left brain and right brain. Left brain, it is more about calculations, reading, writing. It deals more with the logic. And right brain, it is more about creativity. It deals more with visuals, with images than with words. And a very interesting fact about abacus is that when kids are performing calculations using this physical tool, they are actually engaging fingers of their both the hands. That means they are engaging both parts of their brain. And when they are calculating in mind by visualizing the images of the bit, again they are engaging both parts of their brain. So this is how the coordination between left brain and right brain is established. And uh, this coordination between left brain and right brain can again be enhanced using brain gym exercises. So when left brain and right brain both parts of brain are engaged for the same outcome with their full potential then that creates a magic with calculations and this is how kids can perform calculations so fast and so accurate and i highly recommend that abacus education should be included in kids learning activities would you also like to experience with me the magic of abacus let us all try this with simple mathematical exercises but before you attempt this exercises, I have very humble request to all of you. Please, please, please for some time, keep aside your other methods of calculation and allow your mind to visualize this abacus and your fingers to move these bits. So before we jump on to this simple exercises, let me quickly tell you about the bit values of abacus and how to perform these calculations. So. Hey friends. This is our abacus tool and it consists of lower bits, upper bits, this is frame and this divider is the beam and these are the dotted rods. We always start counting on abacus from the central dotted rod and the central dotted rod known, is known as once rod. So this is once rod and this is tens rod and for now we'll be considering only these two rods that is once rod and tens rod. And each lower bit, it has value in ones and each upper bit, it carries value in five. And abacus gets the value when these bit, they touch the beam. And when we move them away from the beam, those values are getting subtracted. So let us start counting on abacus from one to 20. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine. Now I'm moving towards tens rod. This is ten. One zero. So this is ten. Eleven. One one. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. And this is twenty. Now let us see how to calculate on abacus. So we'll understand this with very simple examples. So example number one is one plus two plus one. 
So we'll be doing it on abacus like 1 plus 2 plus 1. So value on abacus is 4. So is our answer. Now example number 2. So 1 plus 5 plus 2. Now the value on abacus is 8 which is our answer. Now the example number 3 is 3 plus 5 plus 10. Now I am moving on 10th rod. So this is 10 minus 6. Now I will be moving 6 beats away from this beam. So this is minus 6 and my answer is 1, 2 that is 12. So this is how we calculate using abacus. So here are a few practice sum. Try solving them using abacus in mind. Have fun with them and type your answers in comment box and I'll see you in the next video.